Well, welcome back to Life's Wild Ride. Hey, who's that in the background? It's Tracy. Long time no see. And look where we are. We're on the bus. <laughs> yes, the bus really has been on hold for a geez trace. How long now? A year. Yeah, I think I've tinkered with it and I've done stuff in the basement over this past winter for drawers and stuff, but really not much has happened on the bus in the past year, to be quite honest. Uh, but today our plan is, let me get the camera turned around. Uh, today our plan is to get these hoses cut back. I think the last video I showed for the bus is Tracy and I did this arch this past spring. So we did do oh, that, yeah. which I forgot about. And our plan is to build a box that's going to close all these original bus wires in all the way down here. And the issue we have is this is the old... Uh, coolant line that goes to the heaters that were in the bus in the kid compartment here where the seats were. So today our plan is to get these disconnected, cap them back here, and that should be enough for us to build the box and those will be capped in the box. And I am going to put a door on this box so I can open it up and access this and see, or somehow the box can be removable relatively easy so we can inspect these occasionally to make sure we're not having any issues. Uh, but this particular project right here has been hanging over our head for, well, since we did it. But basically, since we put this arch in, um, we can't go any further with the trim. With this this box we want to build and the trim going along here. Because all that's going to butt up to that box. And it's holding us up from all of that. And, you know, well, this side we could do, I suppose. So... By getting that done, we can then start moving on and closing this all in, trimming out these window sills, and putting the trim up here on the ceiling. So that's our plan for today. So I've already loosened this one up yet, but it's still tight enough that it's not um, broke the seal loose. Not driver works better. I'm gonna try and do uh, one at a time. It's not gonna work, but. So basically what I want to try and do is pull this apart quickly, plug it so very little fluid comes out. However, when I pull this apart, of course, it's exposing this end. So I'm going to probably have Tracy ready to grab this and just hold it up in the air, up in the air here as high as possible. You know, so hopefully it's higher than the engine. Now you can't tell, but we're parked on a pretty good hill here with the nose facing down in hopes that there's less antifreeze up this end. Now, I'm hoping we get lucky and nothing at all comes out of this. We can take our time. I'm going to put these plugs in there to plug it and be done with it. Um, but who knows? So we'll let the video roll a little bit here and you'll either see a mess or see it go good for us. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Well, I'm not seeing any fluids. That's good. I don't want to damage this hose either on this side. I don't care about this piece. going to remove it, but oh, it's loose. That's a good sign. And it's a good sign that nothing's coming out. I'm probably going to have to go grab some water pump pliers so I can grab a hold of this hose and pull this out. All right. It took quite a bit to get that broke loose and slid out. So you can see I got it out almost all the way. Um, hopefully... This won't leak too much, and Tracy can hold it up if it is, hopefully. You know, she's holding the light. So it's kind of a pain to kind of everything's jammed in the corner here. And then hopefully this cap is the right size to go in there. And I can get the clamp back on it. So right at that point where I'm getting ready to hopefully pop this out. I don't look like we're gonna lose a lot of fluid, which is good. Looks like we're not gonna lose hardly anything at all, which is what I was hoping for. We're gonna go ahead and Shove that down in there like that. Always. And then I'll bring this clamp up. Yeah, what makes it hard is this plastic has ridges in it, which is designed that way so it grips and seals and doesn't come apart. Now I should go the opposite way with this. Actually, I will because then the clamp will bite in two different directions. I use brass fittings to hopefully they hold up over time. Now I have the valve shut off to this system as well. 
but fluid still can get up to it. It just is not going to circulate through it. Uh, so it could still leak out. It's just not going to circulate. So we'll wipe all this down and keep an eye on it. And that's one. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera, and then I'll show you the completed process. And then we can remove this section of hose here. So bear with us, and let me get that removed and capped, and we'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, so what I did is I actually cut this one off because I had plenty of play. And we got the two caps in there. Got the double hose clamps on. And, of course, the valve is off to the system. Like I said, fluid still can go into it. It just can't circulate through it. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Basically, we just cut off one side of it. Uh, one, actually, yeah, one side, really fluid can't get up if the valve's working correctly. The other side still has free flow of fluid from the engine. But hopefully this seals it up and we will build a wall right here. And again, this section of the wall will be removable so we can inspect this or get to it if we have an issue in the future. But by completing that, we can now get to building this section here we talked about. And eventually there's going to be a short wall here as well behind the driver's seat. Uh, so there, that's done. Finally, it's been a small project that's been hanging over our head for two years. All right, so I got uh, those things. I forgot I didn't really show you this part here, but this basically is the uh, like false kind of wall here that hides all the wires, at least up to this point. And then there'll be, you know, uh, window trim here or what's what I look for? Shelf. Not a shelf. Ah, oh, what's it called? Molding? No, anyways, whatever. Windowsill. <laughs> Windowsill type thing will go here. There'll, there'll be a half wall over here, and then this will get all covered up. And then the box that's going to go up here is going to be much a much smaller box just to cover these wires in going up to the top. Uh, and I've made this so we can remove it. Um, and I'm going to figure out how we can access these screws. So we want to take this out and access the pipes down there. In fact, we're getting ready to fire up the bus here for the first time in oh, a month. And prior to that, it was like four months since it's moved, but we're on the hill here in front of the house. And I think we're gonna bring it, if it, if it starts, put it back over next to the shop where it was probably in earlier videos, a couple years ago. Cause then we can just step out the side door right into the wood shop pretty much and get back to work on this. So uh, I am gonna see if it starts. If it does, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Just, uh, I just wanna put it in place, see how it's gonna work. And we'll keep an eye on those pipes down there. Then we'll get some other vehicles moved around and get the bus moved. So now it's been sitting here for a, a month. And let's see if it'll start. Well, there's the answer to that. Fired right up. That's a good sign. I just gotta wait for the air pressure to come up on it and we'll move it.
Alright, Jim. Well, this is reasonable. I mean, you yeah. Can't anybody else around here? But it's to go no, I know. We had to make a pit stop here because I've been doing all this clearing out here with Jim. And he's actually going to cut up another big log. So I said I was going to come back with the tractor and move the rest of it. I moved all those logs over there. We're clearing all this up over here. So I'm going to head back. Trace is probably going to rest the rest of the day, it looks like. But we did get something done on the bus. I'm happy with I'm going to grab the tractor and head back out. next to the wood shop now to make it easier to work on the bus so I'm gonna pull up here and make this sharp back Let's see how we do well I've done it a few times I want to take out the apple trees Thanks for swinging by Life the Wild Ride. We're going to wrap this up here. Shut the video down. And uh, glad to be back on the bus. Tracy, glad to be back on the bus? Yeah. Uh, you took a nap. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we won't be working on it full bore like that first year because we just have so much other stuff to do. As you know, Dad passed away three years ago. Just to reiterate, Mom passed away about a month and a half ago or so. And so my brother and I are handling that whole estate as well. But... Um, we do have a little more time than we were having there. So hopefully we'll get back on the bus here and get some things going. But this is what it looks like. Probably just like we saw it last, but hopefully moving forward, we'll start seeing some more progress. Get some trim up, get this built, get the wall up. And uh, we have the refrigerator that's going to go in here. We have that. I got to trim around this door. Lots of stuff to do still. Lots of stuff to do, but no hurry. And I think I mentioned earlier, there's going to be another build we're going to be doing, so it'll take time. Because we, we know now the situation that we're in after taking care of mom, 
we need to rebuild our savings and stuff so we can take off in this bus because it requires a significant emergency fund to drive off in this. So we're going to probably be building a very small tow behind for the car so we can do camping in the meantime over the next, say, three to five years or so while we're uh, getting the ounce back. Um, yeah, savings back up and all that. So we'll show that build as well, but that's going to be over this winter and it's going to be like a one season build and we plan on using it next spring for a trip and we'll, we'll uh, take you along on that trip too. All right. Uh, thanks for swinging by Life to Wild Ride. Have a great day. See you in the next video.